This is giving, um, I belong in Tulum. Uh, bring me to the beach. Loosey goosey, flapping and, and yapping all of, all of the shoes and sandals and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to swim with the crabs. I stole their claws. Yeah, it's giving Jimmy my 6'3". Your man could never. Mm, you want me to get your man a pair? Mm, too bad. <laughs> like I said, don't judge me. Judge your mother. Has my toes thrown up gang signs. Why? Not if you buck Target. Not if you buck. Hey gems, it's a girl with Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a Target accessories haul. I picked up some heels, some sandals, some sneakers, some jewelry, some bags, literally the works because I have been obsessed with Target lately. Like Target has been stealing all of my coin. I mean, you guys can tell from the, the content on the channel, the hauls, but baby, I'm talking about outside the hauls. I'm talking about stuff that y'all y'all don't even see okay target has been taking all of my coins so i figured let me show you guys some of the accessories that i got to pair with the outfits that i got so this is gonna be real janky okay listen one thing about it i hate showing shoes on the channel but i also love it it's just that i can't breathe when i've been over to buckle it so it's always a struggle but then y'all get mad when i don't show the shoes on my feet and so it's always like a thing it's always a battle with y'all Dang, y'all always want high quality. <laughs> y'all always want quality content. Dang, anyways, let's get started. Um, we're, we're gonna start the shoes that I don't wanna do, okay? So let me go ahead and, and take the easy ones out the way so I can just get the suffering over with. <laughs> y'all always wanna see how something fit for real. <laughs> um. Let me rephrase, actually. This is gonna be a haul of the pieces that I decide to keep. I did try some other situations from the Tar to the J, and I decided that it was not for me. Um, Target also sells like third-party uh, articles of clothing, shoes, things like that. And so I did purchase like a pair of heels from my Journey, Journey collection, and I've, I've, I love their boots. Um, one of the few places that actually has boots for calves my size. <laughs> um, but like I tried like a pair of heels from them and they were cute, but I can tell that the heel of the shoe could not withstand my weight. Child, it was given the back is too big, T take us off. We are not meant for you. So I returned those and then there was another pair of like heel mules that I tried. I just wasn't a fan. They be turning up outside and I know I'm gonna hear it in the footage where I'm editing and it's gonna piss me off. Hmm. Anyways, this is the first pair that I purchased and that's kind of what prompted the continuation of purchasing. <laughs> Baby, these are heavy. So these are platform heels. Um, I gravitate a lot towards platform just because they're easier to last in. But then I find that I don't gravitate towards them when I'm getting dressed. So what is that even about? Mm. But when I tell you these are heavy, like if someone tries to run up on me, this is my weapon of choice. I will do some severe damage with this, okay? So you better not try to rob me. You better not try to come out to my crib because I'm me busting your head. Yeah, not if you butt. Not if you butt. Not if you butt. Yeah, not if um, but yeah, so it does have some padding on the inside, which I very much so appreciate. I got these in a size 11. And of course, very scary. It does have a buckle closure. Uh, very scary. It's a very scary for me, okay? But I know y'all wanna see what it look like on the foot, so I'm gonna give y'all a small sample. Now, don't be zooming in to my crusty feet, okay? Your mother, your daddy, your auntie, your bald-headed granny. Zoom in onto their feet first before you zoom into mine. <laughs> Child, I don't know 
know why my shoe hauls be so janky. Like, why can't I ever just film something normal? Child, pray for me, y'all. Okay, hold on. I mean, they cute or whatever. <laughs> they cute or whatever. Yeah, 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 period. Mm-hmm. Can I walk in these? I've never actually tried wearing these out yet. Um, I, I really like to wait before I put things on. I mean, that's not always the case. I can't always withhold, okay? I can't always... I can't always deprive myself. But I'm like, I kind of wish I had worn these first to see if I can actually walk in these. I'm sure it's fine. Um, and when I say walking them, I'm, I'm re referring to like the weight of the shoe, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I need to take this out for a spin. They're calling my name. They're calling my name. And of course, when I like something, I have to get it in another color. So I got it in pink. I mean, they look a little more fuchsia like on the box. That's the color I thought I was getting. Like, not necessarily hot pink, but not this Barbie pink either. I'm just not Barbie pink, but it's like, it's like real pink. You know, like pink pink, like AKA pink. Um, but I was like, I'll keep her. I'll find some use for her, but same shoe, different color, same size and everything. But since I'm giving y'all quality content today, <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my foot so y'all can see what it look like. Okay, yeah. Toss me the eyes. What influencer is doing it like me? <laughs> what content creator is doing it like me? Like, come on. Come on. Pe period. Yeah. 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 Oh, I have to wear these out. Baby, this is screaming summer, summer, summertime. I mean, my bunions are in like full blown. I prefer for my heels to have like just a peekaboo window for the toes. Cause when you let the whole toe show, when you let the whole toe show, I feel like you just trying to be for me. Like you just want to fight me. You're trying to, <clears throat> you're trying to make a failure. You're trying to look bad. Because like, first of all, my toes kind of long. And then you want to show how long they are. And the more toe you show, the more bunion is going to show. And baby, I got some strong AF knuckles on my toes with bunions that cover it. So like, why you feel like you gotta show all that? Like you couldn't just show a little bit of toe cleavage, like. And that's one thing I don't like with some of these brands. Why you gotta show so much, so much toe? Like, girl, if you'll be a strap, it'd be a strap. But you're not gonna, you're not like you, a thick, thickety, thick, thick strap. Like you not a thin little petite. A thing, a thing, a thing, a thing, a thing, a strap. Like you a big body strap. So why, why you can just go up another half inch, another, I, I'm going to be greedy. Another half inch, like just a little peekaboo toe. But no, you want all the knuckles on my toes to show. Knock if you buck. Knock if you buck target. Knock if you buck. Okay, so I saw these and I was super excited. I don't know how they're going to fit on the foot, but it gives me like cute goth. Um, honestly, I might have to go down a size in these, but we'll see. I saw these and I just, I said, I want these so freaking bad. Like, can you imagine these with like cropped, folded over hem, boyfriend jeans, like a black crop top or something, heavy jewelry, one of my like more edgier bags and just throw these on and I take a quick look. It's simple, but it still adds something, okay? Um, yes, okay? Give it to me. Give me that funk, that sweet, that nasty, that um, now with some shoes, even though I, I would say that I am a solid 11 now, y'all know somehow my feet grew during the panini press, during the pandemonium, during the, uh, Panda Express, uh, shutdown situation. And I went from a 10 to an 11, but some like sandals and stuff, I prefer the look of a 10 cause I like for my feet to be 
all the way in the front and all the way in the back i mean damn near crawling over the top and especially when it's like bulkier shoes like this sometimes i think it looks better that way um because i don't like for my feet to be swimming my ankles are not proportionate to my body they're just not okay my ankles can't sustain my body so i don't like when my feet just be loosey goosey flapping and, and yapping all all the shoes and sandals and stuff because then my ankles just be walking around like this and they can't hold my body up and then i'm in pain and i'm struggling and i'm falling and twisting Anyways, child, I said that to say is I like for my shoes to be as fitted as possible to get the maximum amount of support because it's the only way I'm going to make it from point A to point B. <laughs> so I haven't actually tried these on yet, but these were so cute. First of all, they're essentially flat forms. I love the added height, but I also love that it's not in heel form so I can get the extra inches, but I'm still gonna be comfy dumpy, okay? So we gonna put this on, but why does everything, have to, why can't this come with Velcro? Everything always gotta be a buckle. Like, let's be for real, how, how often y'all think I'm gonna wear this? Let me see if I can just slide my foot in, because like, why, why are y'all, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Persecuting me like this. But she's cute and she might be worth the persecution. Like, does she not give like sexy golf depending on like how you style it? Or even just like this in the plain black dress. Um, I don't, I just, ah, I just really like it. I'm sorry. And I think they had it in white too. Um, I didn't get the white. Cause I mean, I could wear it, but I know I'm not gonna wear it as often. Black is just my thing. Black is my jam. Black is my vibe. Ooh, I might be able to get this in Oh, Ooh, good news. I, I was able to just stop my foot in it. She's cute. Hold on. Hold on. Look it. Look it. Yes. She is so cute. Ah. Hold on. Oh, see, I gotta give y'all angles. Hold on. Come on, quality. Y'all see the front? Yeah, yeah, I can't breathe. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, not an air one to cut on. Be for real. <laughs> what? Um, those are super cute. Um, I could go for a 10, but honestly, I don't want to. So, I don't want to deal with the whole returning and rebuying, hopefully. Hoping they have it in stock, like it's just, for what? I'm gonna just slip aside this. I get that whole speech about why I don't need to be slipping and sliding in shoes, just for my laziness to, to settle for slipping and sliding. But I don't think it looked bad though, you know? I'll revisit this and I'll make a decision at some point today. Um, What else is there? Oh. I did pick up these. I didn't really need these, to be honest. I do have a pair that's similar, um, but it's in a color that I don't wear often. And my thing is, these are comfy. I love the block heel, I love the height, and they're comfy, but I find that this texture on the shoe does not go with every single look. So I don't wear this version of the shoe that I have often, but I figured if I get it in nude, I'd get more wear out of it. I think the other one I have is a platform though. This one is not a platform. And I was trying to figure out if I wanted the platform version or this version. I just really appreciate the block heel. And then it has like a little snake print. Can you see? It was the light so bright. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I like the toe. It's like square, but also like pointed. So diagonal, I love that. I feel like that makes the toe bed look sexier. And overall, she's a vibe. Do y'all want to see this one too? Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I think I picked this one up in store. Did I get this in a 10 or 11? Cause this is getting, oh shoot. Yeah, see, I like this one. It's not showing too much toe. It's only showing two and a half bunions, like, as opposed to 16. I appreciate that. Like, why can't you keep this energy for all the heels? Has my toes thrown up gang signs? Why? This is it. 
comfy, cute, simple, easy to put on, just slide it on and go, which is my favorite kind of style, uh, which also means to take it off, just slide it out and go, which is my number one style. Man, chef's kiss. I love a shoe I could just throw off my feet and I keep it moving, okay? Cause y'all know, heels <laughs> is a 30 minute occasion. Then it's switching to the flats. And the more discreet I can be about it, the better. But don't get it twisted. I will ask a stranger to help me unbuckle the shoes if I need to. Safety first. <laughs> Trina, please grow up. I won't grow up, I won't grow up. So I saw these and automatically gravitate towards these because this does have a pretty thick sole and has a little bit of heel here and it just has decent padding and it's just overall it's gonna give me way more support than my little cheap fashion nova and she and sandals do like it's giving i'm walking on bare ground i'm walking on cement i'm walking on asphalt i'm walking on tile i'm walking on dirt i'm walking on these suns i'm walking on your we're not going with that. I don't know. But the point is, I did want to get some of my more neutral colors and quality sandals. But I like that I didn't have to spend a whole lot of money to get decent sandals, you know? Um, yeah, these actually feel really good. And I'm really glad I got these. Once again, I appreciate the toe bed on these. So I feel like they make the feet look cute. Um, I don't, did I try these on? Okay, so like I said, I, I tend to get my sandals in a 10 because for some reason I like seeing my toes just barely dangle off the front of the shoe. <laughs> like I said, don't judge me, judge your mother. Like I'm tired of it. Leave me alone. <sighs> but this is what the sandal look like. <laughs> this is what she look like. Yeah. Yeah, you see her. See, like, girl, you, you. I will be walking on sandal and on ground in these, okay? What else did I get? Yeah, so I got this shade of pink. I actually specifically got this for a bag that I bought because one thing about Jamima, she loves to match a bag and a shoe. Like, mm, I love it. But yeah, so I have pink sandals, but they're like more of a fuchsia pink. This is like for real bubblegum pink. So these are definitely gonna be a great way to add a pop of color for my summer outfits. And I'm super excited about it. Cause like I said, it's comfy, it's cute, it's giving the vibes, and it's gonna be an easy way to elevate the look and make it pop because of the bright color. So love it, yeah. So I also picked up these clear heels for the same reason. This is from the brand A New Day. Um, and I am a really big fan of clear heels just because they go with everything. And I have two pairs right now. One of them feels like I'm walking barefoot. The second one is cute. It's my orthopedic pair. That's the kind that I wear when I'm out shaking, shaking ass and I need some of the transition to from heels. So that one stays in my car because it looks orthopedic. I mean, the top is clear, but baby, the sole is giving. <laughs> the sole is giving, I need support. Um, so this is a nice in-between and this is gonna be like for me to go out and about. So I can get the support I need without it looking super supportive, but it's also clear and will go with everything and anything, so. I can't even show y'all because it's clear. You can't see it see-through. <laughs> I don't remember what this is. Oh, I forgot about this. So this one I actually had shipped, not shipped, but delivered to me with my grocery order. I said to my shop, if you see this in store, grab them, grab them. Once again, I got these in a 10 because like chunky sandals like this, I can usually get away with it. And they're just really cute platform, chunky, all black sandals that I can throw on and go. Um, I have some cute ones from H&M, but they have like really big gold detailing on it. Um, and it's cute, but sometimes I don't wanna wear gold. What if I wanna wear silver? Or if I just don't want that gold on the feet at all, like what if it doesn't match the vibe? So this is like plain Jane, but she's cute, it has this braided detail right here. 
and I'm just here for the vibes. Like, she's just really cute. And once again, that thick platform is giving Jamima the stallion. Yeah, yeah, it's giving Jamima 6'3. Your man could never. Mm, you want me to get your man a pair? Oh, mm, too bad. <laughs> mm, too bad. So, for the last shoe, I picked up this sneaker. Which I thought was really cute. These are Reeboxes, Reebox Classics, I think. Is that what it says? Reebox Classic. But I picked it up because once again, the thick sole. I am heavy, heavy into platform these days. Like, it's almost ridiculous how heavy I am. But I was like, these are so cute. It has like the leather body. It's all black except for the sole. And it's just giving me everything that I need. Like, it's giving me everything that I need. Reebok ate with this. They ate with this, like, hello, hello. I have been purchasing so many platform things lately and I cannot wait to wear these out. Look, so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with these, like Reebok. So like I said, Target does sell third party um, items. Oh, sorry, love that for me. <laughs> love that for me, okay? So that is it for the shoes. Let's get into the bags, honey. And then I have jewelry, which y'all know I'm obsessed with. Like they're really having a party, just having the time of their lives outside. And nobody thought to invite me. Just partying, playing Drake. It, get me copyright, copyrighted. Cause y'all wanna have fun and key key. And y'all wanna make this apartment complex with thin walls. So this is the bag that I showed you guys earlier. I actually haven't worn her yet, but I did wear her, her, her cut. Where her, oh, Chuck. I did wear her sister. I actually wore her out a couple times. If I'm being completely transparent, I have this bag in pink, green, orange, and black. <laughs> the first one that I bought was in green, and I actually bought that. Was it my? Second trip to Dallas, I was at Target with Ruka. That's when the Kalana, was that when I purchased all that stuff for the Kalana line? Chow, your girl had a time at Target. And I'm telling you, little by little, I just been adding the same bag, but in different colors to my collection because I'm a sick person. I am, I am, I know it. But my thing is, I don't usually buy bags from Target because I feel like the price point does not match the quality of the bags. So when I actually touched these, I was like, wow, this is the first time I've actually touched and felt a bag from Target at Target and was like, wow, this actually feels like it might last more than a, a, a month, okay? Even with active use, like this feels like it's solidly constructed and I'm not mad at it at all. And so I think that, and in fact, $25, like I would pay 50 bucks for this. Okay, um, the fact that it's $25 at Target and it's this good, I'm sorry. Am I the only one? I just feel like most of Target bags don't. Like, they cute, but they don't eat. Okay, that's just my opinion. Um, but so yeah, I definitely went and got this. This is the last one that I purchased. <laughs> um, I had to get it, because at first I was like, it's black, I don't need another black bag, like I have plenty but it's also crocodile and, and shiny. So, I mean, did I really not need it? Cause it felt like it was a need. Like it truly felt like it was a need. So I added it to the collection and now she here with uh, three of her other sisters. And I have no regrets for $25, no regrets, okay? Now I don't know if they still have them in stock now. Cause like I said, I've been building this collection for months. <laughs> But those are my two, two most recent purchases and they still had those. So fingers crossed they will still be there at your location or when you shop online. I also purchased these bags. Um, I don't know what I'm going through with pink right now, but I feel like I need to have every shade of pink apparently. So I decided to pick up this one. It's just really cute. I feel like Loki had an outfit in mind when I bought this. I don't remember what it is exactly, but I have it here it won't fit much it might fit a lip gloss my wallet and vibes high hopes and dreams but that that ain't much else i'm gonna have to carry my phone and my keys in my hand how much i pay for this 18 dollars. that's not bad wild fable the quality isn't bad either i'm not mad at this for 18 dollars at all 
I'm not mad at this. And I also got it in this color here. Um, I don't know why I got this color. I feel like when I bought these, I had something going on in my mind and it's escaping me right now, but it's gonna come back to me. <laughs> it will, it will. In the meantime, I'm gonna add y'all to the collection, <laughs> okay? Go ahead and sit next to mama. All right. Oh, um, last but not least, we gonna get into the jewelry. We gonna get into the jewelry. Now, it's my understanding that Sterling Forever only sells Sterling Silver, <laughs> Sterling Silver, Sterling Silver jewelry, correct? I, that is my assumption. And <laughs> I made this purchase based on that assumption and I am truly hoping that I am not incorrect about that because my ears will suffer, all right? So I picked up some pieces. Um, let me take them out the plastic so you guys can see. Cause I'm like, even if they're like, but they don't actually say sterling silver. That is actually so scary to me. But I thought these were really cute. Oh my God, this light is so bright. I just thought that these are really cute. I like the chain detailing in the earring. I feel like it kind of gives it a little extra something rather than just having like a plain silver hoop. Um, I just, let me move y'all closer away from the light. Cause I feel like it, the light is stopping my greatness. I need y'all to see. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. don't mind the nails. I know I need to fill in. Y'all in my business, don't do that, okay? But this chain detailing, I just feel like it's so pretty. I don't know what they say, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. It's a nice in-between. It's like letting you know, I'm here for a conversation. There's no guarantees. I don't know what, what, what activity I'll be engaging in, but I'm here for a conversation. I'm open to it. Let's just talk about it. Let's just discuss our feelings, put the things on the table, and then we'll go from there, you know? Super cute. Oh, I love these. Bro, if these are not certainly silver, I'm going to scream. Literally, because my ears will be so swollen. <laughs> my ears will be so swollen, I will physically scream. Okay, so next I have this, this seashell looking jump. Um, this is giving, let's go on vacay. This is giving, um, I belong in Tulum. Uh, bring me to the beach. Um, I'm trying to swim with the crabs. I stole their claws. Um, it's giving, let's go to a seafood royal. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what that's, that's giving to me. And I thought it was cute. I thought this was really cute. I have a couple of like vacation earrings um, and I'm pleased to add this onto my collection. I am, and it makes noise like, when you don't have hair, anything that moves or make noise, like that's all you have to depend on. And I just would wish that none of you guys are trying to take that away from me. Like I feel the judgment and I just really want you to stop. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was the vibe of this haul, I guess. More like vacation-y earrings. <laughs> Once again, it's, it's, it's giving, take me to Tulum. It's giving, take me to the water, take me to the seaside. It's giving um, lighthouse. There's a lighthouse on the hillside. Okay, I'm a little sick of this haul because did I not realize I was purchasing all these seaside earrings? Like, why am I shocked at what's in this package? I don't remember buying all of these. Like, Jamima, clearly you wanna go on vacation. That's what this is giving. When did I buy all of these seashell stuff? No, these are really cute though, like stop playing. Like, this is just like a cash, you know, a little floral dress. Like, this is cute, this is really cute, I like this. But like, okay, you need 18 seashell earrings, be for real. Girl, be for my goodness, please. And I had to get it in silver too, the loud dangly ones. Like, girl, you, this is, a, what is life, truly? Like, you you just had to get it in silver too. Like. <laughs> so this is the chill set. It's just circles. 
rope cash when you want to put something on but it's not doing too much just something real simple yeah cute 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 oh my gosh oh is that it dang okay so i just bought a whole bunch of seashell earrings wow 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 okay cool um let me move y'all back because i know y'all want to be in my face let's do um okay well i would say that my favorite earring out of everything was definitely the chain hoops the hoochie hoops um everything else was giving vacation and i didn't realize i had bought so many vacation earrings um but that's cool it's fine <laughs> That's all right. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Target has some gems and I really feel like y'all should check it out if you're interested, if you're looking for some new pieces to add to your summer wardrobe. Target is definitely providing some decent quality items without having to break the bank. And I love that. I love that. Cause y'all wanna T-Mo me to death. Damn. <laughs> but that's it for today's video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>